All right, so let's keep this going. Uh, the second, another reason why men linger after hurting you is because they simply want to still have access to you. Or even more specifically, they still want to be able to enjoy some of the things you provide. So, you know, I think we always assume it's going to be about sex, which a lot of times it is. I'm just going to be real, right? But sometimes there are men who hold on to women even when they're not having sex. There may be a level of emotional fulfillment they're getting from this woman or emotional validation. So, and, and, I, and I, I want to make the word validation stand out more because some of you might hear, well, if, if she's fulfilling him emotionally, why not take it more seriously? Why not pursue something real? Because it's not really fulfillment, it is validation. It is she's filling his cup, making him feel better about himself, right? But he still doesn't connect with her on a deeper level to where they could take it somewhere. Or it, it could just be, you know what? I enjoy talking to this girl. I don't, I don't have much people I talk to, even though it's not going anywhere. I digress. The point here is that because he still wants to have that access, even after he's hurt you, and a lot of times, and I'll, and I'll dive deeper into this later, a lot of times men, some men, don't fully understand the level of hurt they've caused to you. They don't understand how deeply their actions or their words cut you. So they're a little oblivious, a little ignorant to the, fact, to the, to the point where they don't think it's a big deal. Like, why can't we still be friends? Why can't we still you know, engage with each other, you know, it's not that serious, you know, and, and they generally believe that. Now, some are just downplaying the situation, all right, because they want what they want. And that's really, at the end of the day, whether they don't, they generally don't get it or they knew it and they're downplaying it, this point still boils down to they still want to hold on to access to you. Now, whether that access is current access, currently benefiting from you, or simply trying to make sure there's options later to return to this situation, all right? He simply wants to be able to get back to getting from you what he used to get from you, plain and simple. And this is also hitting my spirit, and this is going to sound bad. This might sound bad, but just, just hear me out. What I think a lot of men have seen, not all men, but a lot of men have noticed in women is that due to where she's at emotionally, her feelings or receptiveness can change very quickly. Meaning, think about situations where men, man and woman gets into a fight, they're dating each other, and at that moment, I ain't deal the woman says, I ain't dealing with you no more, I'm done, it's over. And there's men who have been through this, 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 this scenario so many times that in his head it's like, she's just having a moment. Once she gets over it, we'll be back to normal. He knows it's just, if I stick around, if I just play cool, if, if, if I don't jump the gun on anything, I'll still have my way back in. Because a lot of women, again, depending on, they, they go from, I don't want to see him ever again to, Damn, I miss him, <laughs> all right? And to, I, I would never let him touch me again to she sleeping with him. And it can happen so fast. And again, very experienced men have seen this and, they, and some play on that, all right? So they linger in the hopes of even if you're not receptive to him now, even if you're hurt right now, we can get in, in time that door will open back up and I want to make sure I'm in front of it when the door opens. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. The narcissist is emotionally detached. Now, again, this is where it can get tricky going back to the reference of love bombing. All right. So if you're dealing with a narcissist,